Yo, what's up guys, my name is Sassy and today's video is about me getting even better at Valorant. Before we start, all I wanted to say is shout out to this guy for saying something nice. And now, we can start the video. So, as you might have probably noticed recently, I've been pushing a lot of Valorant content. Because to be totally honest, I am just addicted and I am trying to improve a lot, become really good and stuff like that. Oh yeah, and of course I've been pushing a lot of stream stuff as well, so yeah, I'm hoping you're enjoying all the videos. So, one day I was sitting and thinking what could make me better at a video game, and the most simple and easiest idea came into my mind, an aim trainer. So, I decided to update aim lab, because I already had it on my computer. After that, the next part was to figure out what exactly I want to do in aim lab. Do I want to create my own routine? Do I want to find one on Steam Workshop or even look on YouTube? I didn't know. I was thinking about creating my own routine, but then I thought, oh well, there are so many exercises, there are so many settings, and I didn't really want to tinker with all that stuff. A YouTube video, I don't know why, but I just didn't want to try to find one and watch it. So we were left with the last and the easiest option, which was to just go on Steam Workshop, write something along the lines of Valorant, training, aim, and find a routine that somebody else has created on the internet. And so that was what I did. I found a routine called Immortal Valorant Prack with this sick immortal picture and it was created by Defied. For any of you who want to try the same routine, I'm gonna leave the link down below in the description where it will take you to this workshop page. The creator himself on workshop has stated do each task two to three times for a warm-up or five to ten times for practice. I personally did three times. Some of you may think it's not enough, some of you may think it is enough, but the truth is I was still kinda busy with school exams and my license exams, so I was a bit tight with my times, but still I decided that doing something is gonna be better than doing nothing, and to be totally honest, by doing each task three times I still felt good enough about myself and it still felt like it's making my aim improve a lot. Sometimes I record the actual process, sometimes I don't, but this time it was just me opening the map daily and, you know, just grinding at it, nothing too interesting, so day one, two, three, four and five passed by really quick and here we are making the video. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention in the video guys that after completing the routine every time, I also did some of my own tasks of my own choice just so the aim lab intensity thingy would go to the high side on the turquoise color. But as long as you do just the main part, you should be good to go. Back to the video now. First of all, I don't really know what you want to hear from me, but what I'll tell you is, of course I improved. One of the interesting things that happened is that by day 3 and 4, I started setting records on pretty much every task in the routine. Because day 1 and 2, I was still kinda getting used to it, getting used to the grind, you could say warming up. By day 3 or 4 I already felt way better and then pretty much all the rest of the days I still kept grinding. I didn't see as big of an improvement as in the first few days but the improvement was still there and a couple of new records also were there I'm pretty sure. I guess the aim training itself was as simple as that, a straightforward process but, but what I also wanted to talk about in this video about aim trainers altogether. Because there are people who like it, who don't like it and I just wanted to put my own opinion in here as well. So, what can I say about aim trainers like Aim Lab, Kovax Aim Trainer, Aim Tastic? I don't know, there's probably hundreds of them with many different names that you don't even know. Well, in my opinion, I think they are very good. They are really great for training aim actually, hence the name Aim Trainers, because majority of them focus really well on isolating the one important skill needed in FPS games, which is raw aim, muscle memory. The only problem I see with these training apps are that some people spend way too much time in them. Because look at it this way, in the trainer app you can only train your aim, which is really great and really useful, but in an actual game scenario it's only like, I don't know, I would maybe say 40% of the whole game. 
because in the actual game what matters the most is knowledge about maps knowledge about abilities crosshair placement movement and a lot of other stuff and the only way you can learn all that stuff is by playing the game and there's nothing else you can do some of you actually don't realize how important movement and crosshair placement is and this is coming from the guy who hates movement who never trains movement and who has terrible movement because at higher ranks sure everybody's got good aim but at the end who comes out on top of the fight a lot of the times might be decided by a player's movement one thing that i forgot to add to this big list is decision making if you think you can train this somewhere outside the game i'm sorry you're straight stupid decision making in any fast paced esports game can only be trained by playing the certain game you have to grind it for hours and after thousands tens of thousands hundreds of thousands different in-game situations you'll start to analyze each situation better and better yeah i guess that was everything from me about aim trainers but let me do a quick summary if you missed something aim trainers really good makes your aim good but do not forget about all the in-game stuff that you can only improve in-game and don't forget the best training out there for a certain game is to play that exact game a lot and yeah i guess that was everything from me today um you can comment down below if you want me to improve on anything else like i mentioned earlier movement crosshair placement or maybe aim again because why the fuck not and yeah thank you for watching everybody my name was sassy and i'm out